السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما ربي زدني علما ربي زدني علما اللهم فقحنا في الدين اللهم فقحنا في الدين اللهم فقحنا في الدين Dear children, how are you all doing today? I hope you all are doing fine. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you all in the best state of iman and health. Allahumma ameen. So today let's revise the first surah, that is Surah Al-Fatiha. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين All praises and all thanks is for Allah who is the Lord of the universe العالمين The universe الرحمن الرحيم الرحمة Allah is the most merciful رحمن the most merciful Ar-Rahim the one who is merciful again and again the one who is repeatedly merciful Malik Yawm din the Malik the master of al yawm the day of judgment the master of the day of judgment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the master of the day of judgment. Iyaka na'abudu O Allah, you alone, we worship. Wa iyaka nasta'een And you alone, we ask for help. Ihdina sirat wal mustaqeem Ihdina Guide us Sirat al The path Mustaqim, the straight path, Sirat al Mustaqim, the straight path, the path of Jannah. So we say, guide us to the straight path, which is the path of Jannah. Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim, Sirat al Lazina an Amta Alayhim, Ghayr al Maghdubi Alayhim Waladto. The path of those you have bestowed your favors upon, and not of those who earned your anger on themselves, and not of those who got astray. Meaning, the one who forgot the straight path, not the one who went the wrong way, who were misguided. Yes, children, in the first three ayah of Surah Al-Fatiha, there is a beautiful introduction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord of the worlds, the creator, the provider, the sustainer, and the giver of all the things. Allah is the giver of peace, the relaxation, the master of all things, the giver of life and death. Allah is the master of the day of judgment. And on that day, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decisions will take place as to who will go to Jannah and who will be thrown in Jahannam. And in ayah 4, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ We pray to Allah, we say, You alone we worship, O Allah, and you alone we ask for help. This ayah tells us that the one who is our creator, our sustainer, he is the only one entitled for worship. And he alone is worthy that we ask him for help. 
he is the only one who should be worshipped and he is the only one who will be helping us there is none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who can help us any saint Sufi or a spiritual guide who is alive or dead cannot create anyone neither can they be a creator nor are they a provider in fact Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them the one who is in the grave is dead if they are not the creator nor the provider then why should we ask them why should we ask them for help Therefore, we should not bow down or prostrate before the Sufi or Pir Fakir, that is the spiritual people. We should not worship these saints or the holy people. Neither should we ask them for help. Asking them for help is shirk. And the one who does shirk never goes to Jannah. I repeat. The one who does shirk never goes to Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps us away from all kind of shirk. Allahumma ameen. Moving on in ayah 5, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ihdina sirat wal mustaqeem. Guide us to the straight path. And which path is that? Yes, it is the path of Jannah. In this we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that O oh Allah show us the path to Jannah. Subhanallah. For the answer to this question, how did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respond? Yes, by sending down the Quran for us. Allah sent down for us the whole Quran so that we read it with translation and explanation and understand it and live our lives according to it this is the path to jannah if we live according to the quran we will go to jannah inshallah we pray that may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the opportunity to read this quran in the best way and to understand it in the best way and to follow it throughout our lives may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to go to Jannah. Allahumma ameen. Yes, children. So the last ayah of Surah Al Fatiha is Sirat al Lazina and Amta alayhim, Ghair al Maghdubi alayhim, Waladolin. O oh Allah, guide us to the path of those whom you have bestowed your favors upon and not of those who earn your anger on themselves and not of those who got astray meaning the ones who forgot the straight path or the ones who went the wrong way we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us on the straight path of the prophets the martyrs the siddiqeen the salihin may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the opportunity to be with the pious people in our lives. Allahumma ameen. So my dear children, Alhamdulillah, we have completed our surah, that is Surah Al-Fatiha. When you recite it today in your salah, recite it with understanding, recite it keeping the meaning in your mind. And next week, inshallah, we will begin with Surah Al-Baqarah. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك جزاكم الله كل خير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته